Michigan Moms March is part of a national movement focused on the issue of race and police community relations. And tonight, Toya Washington goes on assignment with the head of the Milwaukee Police Academy to get his perspective on training police officers in these very critical times. It is the oldest police band in the country. Stop. I'm getting the tour of what's simply called the Academy. So is the whole facility used? It is. Every okay. inch of this building is used. In every classroom, every hallway, on nearly every level, recruits are in training to become Milwaukee police officers. This is standardized field sobriety training, so people sign up to come to the academy and drink. <laughs> and then the recruits test their uh, level of inebriation. <laughs> Don't let the good humor fool you. This is serious business, especially for Deputy Inspector Terrence Gordon, their chief in charge. We stress our core values, um, which is how we run the police department. Courage, competence, integrity, leadership, respect, and restraint. That's hammered into them. From the time they get here till the time they leave, we tell them that it's all about the community. Inspector Gordon tells me he's passionate about community and his hometown. I love my city. I think I was 20, 21 years old when I moved away. I came back home to get this job. I don't regret making that decision. Regrets? No. Disappointments? Yes. Black kids are dying in this country at a rate that would be staggering if this was another country. It bothers me that we spend more time talking about voter ID and right to work than the young black men that are dying in this city. Gordon takes a long-term view when talking about the city's problems. I think it's something that happened slowly and it happened while we weren't watching and then we woke up one day and found ourselves here. And the more you focus on the negative, the more it'll stay there. If we don't really truly focus on solutions rather than just talking about them, this is what we're going to be for a long time. When Gordon sees the crime stats, he sees bad behavior. He sees a double standard and describes it as a race-based profiling of a different kind. It really bothers me when I hear people talk about addressing black students in school differently than all other students. If you have two sets of standards, you will get two sets of results. If you have dis different discipline standards for black kids, you will have different results. If you lower the bar, that will be the level of achievement that you get. If we continuously focus on po um, poverty from the perspective of it's a crutch and it's a reason that people aren't succeeding. If we continuously focus on low educational attainment again as it's a crutch and it's a reason, so let's lower the bar, those things will never go away. They will never go away. You cannot address a bad thing by making excuses for it. All right, I'll let you guys get back to work. Okay. That was a hint, get back to work. <laughs> Staff and students say Gordon is a no excuses guy. He expects police to be held to the highest possible standards. Hamilton! Hamilton! The death of Dontre Hamilton weighs on Gordon, who says he respects the Hamilton family's response given their loss. I talked to uh, Nate Hamilton. He doesn't want to see his community, community burn. He has some legitimate um, emotion invested in this situation. His brother's dead. Dontre Hamilton's death and those of other black men at the hands of police have resulted in a national movement focused on police community relations. I think that there is a rift. However, I don't think that it's a bottomless pit, and I think it is that it is something that we can bridge. Who's building? Our building! Who's building? Our building! On the very same day, at a demonstration, people can say that they want less of us. But when we go into challenged communities, those people are saying that they want more of, of what we do. What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! Gordon is proud of MPD's response to the local demonstrations. Officers on the streets have showed tremendous restraint. There have been some very tense situations, and I've been behind those officers during some of those situations. And their professionalism has been something that I would like for city leaders to remark upon. Gordon says police departments nationwide must be transparent, yet he worries the scrutiny could have negative impacts. I would be untruthful if I were to say that the national conversation isn't making officers a bit hesitant. Um, officers are considering 
what their next um, confrontation could bring. They are one decision away. They're one assignment away. They're one dispatch away from a life-changing moment. And recruiting citizens willing to make those judgment calls is also tougher now. It was already hard for us, say, to recruit black kids to want to be police officers. I can't imagine that what's going on now is going to make it easier, easier, although that is one of the very remedies that people are saying police departments need. With that goal, Gordon stays focused on his mission, and the instructors at the academy carry out the orders. They have to teach the material. They have to teach the values. We don't teach politics here. And despite their best efforts, Gordon knows the recruits will never truly be ready for what they'll meet on the street. And have the officers have to try to avoid hitting innocent citizens mm -hmm. while isolating their targets and only taking care of bad guys. No classroom can prepare anybody for the realities of any job, let alone one that's as complex as a job where all you do is deal with people and their problems. Which begs the question, what keeps you up at night? I have racing thoughts. I can't, I can't just concentrate on one thing because there's so much work to be done. And I was saying earlier, I don't think it's impossible. It's just outside of our grasp to be where we need to be. So with 20 plus years in, Gordon says he'll just keep working. In Milwaukee, Toya Washington, WISN 12 News. Now in June, the Academy will graduate a class of 50 new officers who will get their first assignments on Milwaukee streets.